A mask for Batman is obviously very important, but masking for us is even more important. So the ability to be able to draw masks accurately and anywhere on our model and then use them either by inverting them or uh, removing them or smoothing or uh, blurring the lines all of that is very very useful to us as digital sculptors so this video is going to explore that and show you some of the quick ways to get going with the masks <laughs> At the moment we're putting videos out every Wednesday and every Friday so if you like the kind of content that we're doing if you could uh, give us a thumbs up on any of these videos subscribe to the channel and obviously hit the notification bell and we can let you know when those videos drop during this uh, masking tutorial we're going to be um, all the way through it we're going to show a little time lapse of the head that we created for the tutorial so take a look at Batman being made while you learn about masking. So let's begin masking and the first thing we want to learn is how to call the mask brush. So in our brush menu on the side we click the little cross at the bottom, it's right near the bottom of the menu and that gives us a masking brush. In a few minutes you won't want to use this again because I'm going to show you another way but for now that is the most simple way just to activate uh, a way to mask. And as you can see, I've just painted a mask onto our model. And if I want to move the cowl over the top, because the, the, the thing underneath is now masked, I go back to the move tool. And there you go, just start moving and the bottom is protected. So that is the fundamentals of how to call and use a mask. That's, that's as simple as it gets. So I can move that even over the top of it, I can move that down, but nothing moves where the masked area is. So that's the simplest way to call it from this menu. So the other way to call it is instead of going and activating the brush, it's just to hold the cross here on the right hand side. And that means I'm calling it and activating it from here. So let's just make our brush a bit smaller. And we'll just draw something around the back. So hold down the cross and just paint on the back here. And you can see there I can just add paint wherever I want it. Now I might want to remove the, 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 the when I say paint, what I mean is obviously the mask and it looks like paint, but what you're actually doing is you're, you know, you're painting the area that you want to mask. But I might want to remove some of that, so I hold down the mask in again, and then add in the plus and the minus, and that takes it away completely. So you can make your brush smaller, hold the same buttons, and you just get a bit tighter and a bit more control. So that's the way, they're the basic fundamentals of, of activating it. So if you want to hold down the, uh, the masking button and just strike anywhere on the canvas or on the, on the iPad, that gets rid of it. So I'll just undo that. So I'll do that one more time. So hold down the little cross and just click anywhere outside and, and begin to draw and that will remove it for you. What you might also want to do is um, hold down the masking button and the plus and minus and then um, that will do it that way or, or what you could do is it will just invert so if you've drawn a little bit here oops a daisy if you've drawn a little bit here I keep drawing there instead of actually painting so let's just move around the corner and do it a bit bigger this time do it all around this shoulder here as if we're going to paint and protect like shoulder pads or something like that so to remove it is the minus. Oops, Daisy, didn't mean that bit. To remove it is the minus. And you just paint away like that. You can get some interesting shapes doing it this way, but there's a more accurate way of doing it. And I just did it by mistake there, so you're gonna be able to know what I mean. So I'm gonna hold down the cross again, the, the masking brush, and then I'm gonna leave the minus, but I'm gonna start drawing off the model. And then this starts a lasso. So what we can do is we can just draw here and it'll increase our mask. You'll see exactly what I mean in a moment. So do it again, it'll be off, draw around here. I'll just draw some crazy shapes so you'll see what I mean. And then what I did then was I held the plus and minus. So mask, plus and minus, start drawing off and then you'll be doing a removal. So you can either add it like so, didn't come in then, add it, 
or remove it. So cross minus on the model, cross minus off the model. And that gives us a removal. So and remember holding down the, the, the masking button and striking up removes it. Now what you can do is you can um, call some of these functions from another menu. So if you go to mesh and look down here, you've got quite a few options to try. So we'll just try a couple and then I'll let you try those yourself. So we'll draw a mask here. So we've just drawn a shoulder there and just zoom in a little bit. And then from here, you've got soften and you've got sharpen and grow and shrink. So soften, as you can see, every time you click it, it will smooth the edges of, of the, the masking. To grow it, literally keep clicking the grow and what you're going to get is the mask growing across the, the, the model and therefore the opposite of that is shrink. So if you do go too far and you want to you want to bring that down, then then that's the way you, you can do it. You, you know the soften will make it so that you can really blur the edges of of it, and and sometimes you will want a much softer effect so it doesn't give you a hard fall off. So what else have we got on here? So what we might want to do is do what's called an extraction. So I'm going to first of all control, or say control, uh, the, the the cross and strike up so it's cleared the mask. Now with the lasso tool, so I'm holding the cross and drawing off, I'm going to cover most of the bottom of the body. Now don't forget, I'm going to do another bit and add it on. Keep adding. Now I've got to now do the head. So I'm going to hold the cross and then I'm going to get really tight into the head or under the neck there like that. And now what we've done is we've, we've masked off the entire body. So that's useful in a number of ways, but the one that I'm going to show you is, is something that you, you might want to take some time to learn. We'll do it We'll do it in a few places to be sure we know what we're doing. So if you go to the end button here, where it, it's um, the second in actually, the Y one, and we've got this button here, Extract Mask with Thickness. So we're going to click that, and we're going to say, choose the thickness. So what do we want the thickness? So we don't want very much, so we don't want all of the body to be very thick. So we'll say, 0.25 and we'll see what that looks like we might have to do it again and click OK and let's take a look what happened there now it just looks like we've got a rough edge around there but to see exactly what happened there if we go to objects and you'll see you've got sphere extracted so it's the name that we had plus the word extracted so if you hide the original which was sphere by just clicking off the eye that's what you're left with so you've now got something that can become clothing you can smooth that down now you can do the normal processes that that, that, that you'd want to do, um, you know, things like remeshing and all of the things you've already learnt uh, and, and now sculpt on this, uh, whatever's needed, but it is now a separate component. So if you put that back on and you start looking at something like, for example, the move tool, we can move that around and it's definitely a piece of clothing now. So it's, it's just a great way to make things like clothing and armour and... Um, belts and anything like that so you simply draw them on and extract them off um obviously he doesn't look particularly um good around the edges here so what we would probably do is we then start sculpting that area just make the brush smaller and then we might use something like the flatten tool just to get those edges back to how we want them Oops, that's too much. And then we can work on that as, as needed. So let's do it one more time. So we're going to go on the head. We're going to hold down the masking button. We're going to start drawing off. And draw up like so. And that's given us what's effectively a Mohican. To extract it off, go back up if need be. And to go to mesh, the little Y with the arrows on the top, extract by mesh thickness, and then we use 0.25 for that last one, so maybe a little bit less than that. So we'll say 1.128, click OK. And there you go. So we've now got a separate piece. Let's just validate that by turning all the others off. So we've now got literally the two pieces of clothing and you can edit them and work on them in independence. 
So let's get onto this one and we'll smooth it down. And you can use the move tool and move it around for you know for whatever your need is. But that's that's that one covered for extracting a mesh a mesh. So that's basically it for, for masking. It's it's a very, very simple topic to cover. Um, and it's something that you should really you know, take your time to, to learn uh, before you move into anything really complex because it's it's much, much easier to mask something and hide it, um, sorry, mask it and then work on it. I'll give you an example of something a little bit um, more detailed. So if you want to work on these lips, so let's we'll actually paint this one on. So a bit smaller brush and we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we're on the right object. We're going to paint underneath the lip like so, and then everything down below. That's quite protected there. And then what we want to do is we want to flatten that underside of the lip. But because it's now protected, it's pretty easy. So we'll go down, pick the flatten tool, low intensity, quite small brush, and then we'll just work up here. And you can see that, that protected line underneath, it's, it's not going beyond that. So I'm just going to use clay to build up a bit more volume. And we'll smooth it down as we go. There you go. So you can work on that and just tighten those edges. You can even use the move tool again and bring that up and down and that'll make it even more pronounced. So let's bring it across and you can see that it's accentuated the, the lip even more. Bring that a bit closer. So hit the control button, you can see that's just made the mouth a little bit nicer for what we want. So you've got a couple of things to consider there. There's the extraction, there's the different types of masking, the different ways to invert it, uh, to, grow, to grow it and to smooth it. But one thing I would say definitely is have a go and really practice with the masking tool because later down the line it becomes really crucial in, in lots of different ways. It's, it's very important in any digital mod modeling package. but especially in uh, on the iPad where you um, you might want to keep things isolated like that. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'll be very grateful. We're putting content out every Wednesday and every Friday. So if it's something that you like, give the video a like, um, a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. So we'll let you know when we upload the next mobile sculpting uh, video or possibly VR or any of the different modeling or innovation kind of projects that we, we work with.